Hey guys, it's Mr. Johnson, the principal of Ridgeview Global Studies Academy. And I'm looking forward to a brand new school year getting ready to start. Now, some of you guys will be here on campus with the traditional learning, and others of you will be learning from home, what we call our distance learners. Either way, we're excited about a new school year starting, and we got an awesome video so that you can learn more about all the things that we're doing here at Ridgeview, and the things that you will be doing at home. So we look forward to the partnership, and guys, listen to the video, pay attention, because there's a lot of neat information just for you. One of the things you will notice this year when you come up to the school at both the elementary and the middle high school is you will see a new fence and gates. And these are the only way that you will be able to access the school campus. And after school begins, the only way you'll be able to enter the campus is through the front office. The other thing most of you are familiar with is the buzzer to ring to get into the elementary campus. Now we also have one that's being installed at the middle high school campus as well. And so that should be functional very soon. So all of these features, the fencing that fully encompasses both campuses and the gates, the security gates, are all things that we've added this year to make our campus even safer than it was before. not allowed on campus before 7.50 a.m. and they will be considered tardy at 8.15 a.m. This uh, next one breaks my heart. Uh, we love visitors, we love volunteers, but uh, due to the situation right now we're going to have to temporarily suspend or limit visitors and, and volunteers on campus. Uh, this means that if you can't volunteer in classrooms right now or you, you can't come to eat lunch with your child on either the elementary or the middle high school campus. Temperature checks will be done daily upon arrival to school in the bus area and the car rider area. Backpacks and lunch boxes will be allowed this school year and please make sure you have your names on all of your belongings. Remember students, while you're at school, we need to practice physical distancing. I'm here at our water fountains in building two on the middle school campus, and uh, we will be uh, shutting these off. Students, you cannot drink directly from the water fountains any longer, just for safety measures. Instead, we will uh, replace the top of this with a uh, refilling station. You can bring a clean uh, water bottle, such as this one, or a reusable one as well and you'll be able to refill your water bottle throughout the day at uh, refillable stations that are uh, strategically placed around campus. Until further notice, lunches will be served in the classroom. Ridgeview will continue to provide students with free lunch. However, you're always allowed to bring your own lunch. Face masks will be worn during school hours by students as well as staff must cover your nose and mouth at all times. Patterns are acceptable as long as they're school appropriate. One way we're gonna promote social or physical distancing in our hallways and our buildings is to implement one directional hallways and that simply means that students will all be flowing in the same direction in the building and you will receive a map to show you the circulation pattern so you know how to get from one class to another without passing in opposite directions from another student. Here's some good news. Both traditional and distance learning students will be attending PE, block classes, and if you're in middle or high school, electives. 
Physical activities in PE have been planned with face masks in mind. It's recommended to bring a second mask in your backpack. Safety procedures will be followed in these classes just like in the classroom. Teachers will sanitize periodically throughout the day with uh, disposable wipes as well as long stocking. Students are encouraged to wash their hands frequently throughout the day when bathrooms are not available, then hand sanitize. One of the biggest ways you can help us uh, prevent and minimize the spread of COVID-19 is to self-screen daily. That means if you're not feeling well or you have any COVID-like symptoms from fever to coughing, runny nose, sore throat, any of that stuff, simply stay home. We will work with you and your student to make sure that they uh, get their schoolwork and they can stay caught up, but that will help us tremendously. So self-screen daily and don't come to school if you are not feeling well. This flyer will be in your orientation packets. If someone tests positive here at Ridgeview Global Studies Academy, we will follow all CDC guidelines. To ride the bus, students must be wearing a mask or face covering. Bus drivers and monitors will also be wearing mask, face coverings, and gloves. Bus windows will also be open to promote good ventilation. Our buses will be clean and disinfected after each and every round. The expectation for distance learning is students must be in uniform during the hours of school from 8.15 to 3.15, five days a week. There may be some downtime where you're not on a video chat with your teacher, but the expectations are the same. Follow your schedule as if you were at school, be on time to your meetings, and turn assignments in on time. Uh, parents and students who are in our distance learning program for the upcoming year, if you need a device to complete your schoolwork, have no fear, we got you covered. Just simply go to our website, www.rgsa.com, fill out the orientation survey to let us know you need one, and then we'll schedule a time for you to pick up the device here at the school. You'll also get a charger with that. Just remember, it's our property, so take good care of it, and you'll have to return it upon completion of our distance learning program. Students, don't forget to keep your device fully charged, whether you charge it each night before starting the next day or you keep it plugged into the wall while you're using it. Developing a normal routine is very important. Make sure that you are setting your alarms every night, getting up and eating a good breakfast, and make sure you are dressed in your uniform ready to go. You're gonna be learning from home, and that's gonna seem a little different, but you can help by creating a space that's quiet and ready to learn. Have your materials ready, pencil and paper, and maybe even headphones. Seriously, make sure your background is appropriate because whatever you do, everyone can see it. Using headphones or earbuds is a very smart idea to block out other sounds or distractions that may occur. Attendance will be taken daily by your teachers and all work will be graded the same as if you were here on campus. Don't worry, our English language teachers, our resource teachers, speech language pathologists, occupational therapists will continue to provide services to students who receive them. Just because we're in an online learning platform, the expectations are the same. You need to respect your teacher, your presenter, or coach or instructor at all times and be punctual and prepared. Even though you're going to be learning from home, the goal is to learn. So remember, always do your personal best. You might be wondering where to find your assignments online. Well, if you head on over to our website, www.rgsa.com, you'll find a compass distance learning icon. Click on that and voila, you're there. Welcome to the Ridgeview Compass, Ridgeview's newest distance learning tool. 
Here, just like in old times when a sailor or an explorer would use a compass to guide their travels, our distance learners will use this compass to help guide their distance learning from home. You will find a help desk for any questions you might have about technology. You will find how to button. This will give you quick tutorials on how to log in, how to navigate some of our learning platforms, as well as a button for updates for distance learners. Simply click on your child's grade level to find their learning path. Let's check out kindergarten first. So I click on the K for kindergarten and I'm taken to this page, which is going to have a couple of functionalities. Need to contact your child's teacher? Easy. Click on their picture and you are automatically taken to that teacher's email so that you can communicate. You will also find your child's learning dashboard. Here you will see Seesaw. This is what our K-2 through students will be using to document their learning as well as receive their notifications for Zoom meetings. Students will also be able to access PE and their block classes through this learning dashboard. Let's check out another grade level. Eh, let's try fifth grade. Fifth grade should look pretty familiar. It's pretty much the same setup. So you'll see your child's distance teacher. Simply click on their picture to send an email. The biggest difference with our older students in grades three through 10, they will be using Microsoft Teams as a platform to share their knowledge. Do you feel lost and a little overwhelmed? That's okay. We're all in this together. Go back to the compass. First thing, check out those how-to videos. It might answer some of your questions. You're still lost? It's okay. Reach out to us, we're here for you. Use the help desk for any tech-related questions that you might have. We are in this together. Hey guys, this is information about a virtual open house and that information will be coming out soon. So stay alert and watch for new information coming out. So was that a journey or what? A lot of information there for you, and I think it was a lot of neat information too. It's gonna to help keep us safe, help us have a great day, and just have a, a terrific year. So with that in mind, thank you so much for watching this video and for listening to all the important information, and we look forward to an awesome, awesome year with you guys.